Hello everyone, we're back with a try video again, and sorry, this one's kind of not so much weird, different stuff that we can try to eat, because we haven't been to Daiso in a while, we haven't even been to our, uh, like there's a little uh, Vietnamese area over Garland, not too far from us, and I've always been wanting to go there because there's a little store that sells unique little things, but I'll always forget about it. So instead, we're going to call this one Holiday Drinks. And literally, it's just two drinks. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we're going to start off with this thing, which I would think is very holiday-ish in a way. It's called Salted Caramel Pepsi. Yeah, that seems more like a... Like mm -hmm. a fall kind of drink. Yeah. I don't, I don't like caramel. I do. Yeah, I'm not a caramel kind of person, so... I'm probably going to prep these and, you know, try to open them up, but, you know, might as well kind of space this video out a little since it's only two things. Well, at least it's somewhat fizzy. Just smells like Pepsi to me. <laughs> I don't smell any caramel or anything. I sure hope I, it's... I, I, get, I think I get a slight hint. Sure hope it's not, you know, like super salty. That would... It's going to be fucking weird otherwise. There is a ton of sugar in this, though. Mind y'all, I don't really drink sodas like that, uh... Crystal Pepsi. Crystal Pepsi was one of the last ones, and then also Megan had something I probably could could have done a video on, but we only had one, literally. It was a uh, black cherry root beer that was really good, mm -hmm. but that's like the only bit of soda I've had in the past few years. This thing is also fucking heavy in calories. It's 170 calories. Oh, bottoms up. <laughs> Think. Oh, the uh, salt's at the end. <laughs> it tastes like a Pepsi with salt in it to me. Maybe I get a little bit of the caramel, but it's mm. very minor. I get the caramel. I, I, get more... they, they, I guess because they put. Um, hmm? Don't they put caramel in here? In sodas? Yeah, most. Yeah, in fact, that's, as you can see, it's like caramel color. That's what makes it brown. Yeah. They're just like adding a little bit more. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. Of course she likes it. She likes salted caramel and stuff like that. I'm I'm not yeah, a salted just... kind of person. I'm gonna try one more little sip. I still don't smell the fucking caramel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, get it at the end there. Again, it doesn't help. I'm not much of a soda drinker anymore, so I just, I don't get as much. I will say I didn't get as much salt as I did at the end there, because the first one I got, there was a big salt bite at the end. I was like, oh, God, that's funky. It's not terrible. If you're a Pepsi person, you're probably going to like this, but eh, that's what I can say about that drink so far. It's like, like Megan's that's a huge, delicious. yeah, she's a huge Pepsi person, loves salted caramel, if you're a Pepsi drinker, you're probably going to love it, but if you're a person like that I don't really care one way or the other, I don't think this is going to draw you to. It, it's not gimmicky enough. <laughs> peppermint maybe might be enough, but there's no peppermint in this, so. If, if we ever find that, stay tuned for volume two. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all I can say about it. Eh. So, moving on. Now we move to this colorful looking bastard. Mountain Dew Holiday Brew, which is supposed to be a blend of Dew and Code Red. And holy shit, this is 290 calories. I'm not a fat guy here, I don't care. Holy shit, there's 77 grams of sugar in this son bitch. Holy, this is pretty much sugar, sugar water. That's it. Yeah, this actually kind of scares me. Drink some red, bottles. Yeah, red sugar water. Yeah, it's like, here, here is the fresh blood of a sugar person. <laughs> it did not fizz at all. That's, that's also scary. Fizz a little bit. It smells like cherries. <laughs> like, I'm getting a very code red. I know it's like a, supposed to be like a cherry kind of flavor. Yeah, it smells like a, almost like a cherry limeade. Yeah. There's almost like a hint of lime in there, so it does... I will say that has a really good aftertaste because, like, I'm getting a little bit more of that caramel is just kind of lingering a little, but it's good. It's not like that overpowering caramel that just sticks to your teeth and we said dun, 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 for four years. <laughs> Which I know that looked rich on camera, but you know. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh. <laughs> Sugar water? The code red is not too bad, but the Mountain Dew in it does not mix very well together, which is weird because code red is Mountain Dew. <laughs> so you just get code red, which is, you know, decent. It's still a little too sweet for my particular taste. And then you get banked in the face by Mountain Dew's dick. It's a little jarring to me. Like, they're not mixed well. <laughs> it's like, you get one and then you get the other, and it's not like a beautiful blend of, beautiful harmony of taste. You just get one and then here's the other. Yeah. And it's a bit rough. And only that, I, I, think, I think it's alright. Right. Not only that, this is a fucking sweet ass drink. Like, I had tea the other day from IHOP, and it was sweet as shit as I've ever tasted. My teeth wouldn't run off. Even I was saying it was too sweet. That's that's what you know. That's what you know it has too much sugar. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh, good. Like I said, when you get code red, it's like, okay, that's like, nope, there's about doing it. It could almost taste like a cherry limeade. Except we get that hard Mountain Dew flavor yeah. in there. Which is basically just lemon lime soda. Uh, it's, Mountain Dew is lemon limes if they fucked for a while, got melted by a death ray, mm -hmm. and then you just got what's left of their, you know, genitals. And that's kind of about it. It's just sloppy seconds. I think Mountain Dew is pretty much like Sprite, but just... With acid. It, it's, on steroids. Yeah, oh. Uh, needless to say, that's our least favorite. <laughs> like, even I will say, like, that whole... In fact, has a very bad burn. <laughs> like, I'm trying to, like, my body's like, oh, no, re reject, reject. It's trying to belch, and I'm like, no, that burn's like shit. <laughs> mm. Oh, it doesn't taste good either. <laughs> yeah. Don't get the holiday brew. It's not even really worth it, because it's not even a weird enough, like, combination, like... Blueberries, even though it's not very, you know, holiday-ish, you know, but do anything or just Mountain Dew with Code Red. That's all it is. Yeah. Mm, that's a good chaser. Because <laughs> Mountain Dew's nowhere near as fucking tart or sweet as this, so it kind of helps to kill the taste. Oh, just let y'all know, the buy blueberry is very good. It's a sipping thing. Do not chug it. You're going to feel like you got punched in the face by a pack of blueberries. Yeah, it's my face. Yeah, uh, yeah, this bright, colorful son of a bitch sucks ass. Mm -hmm. I you know how do you feel about it? It's I. It's I, 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 I. Uh, salted caramel. It's not terrible, but if you're if you're a Pepsi person, you'd yeah. probably like it. It's not gimmicky enough for somebody who wants to try stuff like this. Who does shit like this? Like, I'm gonna try Crystal Pepsi. Mm -hmm. Like, they had one I was gonna try. It was Pepsi Cinnamon. I was kind of scared of it, but then they got rid of it really quickly. I'm like, oh. Like, it was around for two weeks around here. <laughs> and I just totally kept forgetting about it. And I was like, okay, I'll eventually get one. Or no, it was right before I went to California. I think is when it came out. Something like that. That's day fair. Take it. Cursing. Yeah. yeah Cursing you. Yeah, I still don't get that. Y'all want to know, it's like, yeah, we live in Texas and we live close enough to Dallas that we can, that I got a safe fare ticket from my work to win. Yay. But, mind you, I was going to California in two days. The state fair ended before I came back from California. It's like, the fuck? Really, guys? Said really? Sat in his glove box. Yeah. Hexing him. I swear it caused my two bricks. <laughs> so... Yeah, salted caramel's not bad. It's It tastes like a slightly squishier Pepsi, which sounds weird to describe it that way. Just more caramel-tasting Pepsi. Mm, uh, it's good. Mountain Dew, Holiday Brew, it tastes like Mountain Dew jizz. Yeah, it's, 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 it's just cherry lime, but rougher. Just. Yeah, and I, I can't stand it. <laughs> Again, it doesn't help I'm not a sugary drink kind of person anymore, but... Nah, it's like you sweet but, tea. Yeah, but to be fair, there's a reason why I drink sweet tea over, you know, these big sugary drinks, which are even sugarier. 
and also some more sodium and all that bullshit. It's like, and even then, my sweetest tea that I've ever drank is not even as sweet as a Pepsi. So, yeah, uh, get the salted caramel if you're just that fucking interested. It, it's not terrible. You're not going to hate it at all. If you're a Pepsi drinker, you're probably actually going to enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, if you are at least a bit curious about Mountain Dew, Holiday Brew, if you're a hardcore Dew head, maybe. But if you didn't like Code Red, you're not going to like this. Because there is Code Red in there, you can tell. I personally mm -hmm. think it's the better tasting of the things. Yeah. I never was a Mountain Dew friend. Friend. Fan. Well, friend either. Yeah, fuck you, Mountain Dew. You <laughs> owe me money still. You fucked my girlfriend. Yeah, you fucked my girlfriend. You fucked her up the ass, too. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Fuck it. Me. Yeah. I was trying to kick it over and it did fall. I just with my toe. Just... <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, hopefully soon we can have a special little holiday thing again. Yeah, fact, we need to go back to Daiso. Yeah, we, we're, I've been waiting to go back to Daiso. We're just getting get, some damn chocolate wafers. I was like, give me like a little holiday like thing to see what they have. Yeah, we'll, we'll go up there soon. Yeah. Maybe this weekend we'll go up there. We just gotta see how everything's going with Star Wars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that's how it is, everybody. That's how Pepsi is celebrating the holidays. So... Mountain Dew Holiday Brew. Yeah. Salted caramel. Pepsi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yep, that's all we got for you. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, it's a little short. Yeah, well, they're usually all a little short. And thankfully, no, they're... Not as short as this. Thankfully, though, there's nothing like the fucking dice. I was like, oh, oh this thing's gonna... Oh, the holy shit, this thing just punched me in the nose. With fish. It didn't even stick your nose off it. It just opened it up. Woo! Yeah, I was like, oh my, oh my god, god, it's like I got insulted by 38 vaginas. Yeah, that walks up it. Flicks you right in the nose. It flicks you in the nose and then gives you a backhand nut slap. <laughs> oh, it was so terrible. So, yeah. Hopefully we'll have something for y'all next week because I would like to do a little holiday thing every week. And maybe we might do a little special video here in a little bit. I don't know. We might decide to do it tomorrow or something. We'll talk more about it. So until then, get some salted caramel if you're a Pepsi drinker and avoid the holiday brew at all costs. So mm -hmm. <laughs> bye-bye everybody and happy holidays.